That's why we're doing this. And these guys wouldn't have made this halftone brush pack without it working in the screen from the field. Hello, welcome back. I know what you're thinking. Where is Chris? Where is Alan? Where are we? Why am I looking at Cody? We are in my home studio. Those guys are overdoing some printing, some food, I don't know. The point of today's video is to talk about the new Procreate Halftone Brush Pack from our good friends over at Golden Press Studios. They released this thing, they were demoing it out, really pushing it hard, and it was, it looks incredible. You know, we have, we have, a, we have a little bit of a relationship going on, so they thought I would be a good fit to you know, test it out, see what I think, give my opinion on it as the art guy over at Grind Time. Before we get into it though, I need to explain a little bit of what halftones are because some people may not know and why they are important to screen printing. Halftones, just in short, very, very simply, is a solid color broken up into smaller shapes, usually circles or lines. The point of this really comes down to three main use cases and these are the same use cases that make it so valuable for screen printing. The first one is going to be purely for stylizing. The modernization of halftones have created what a lot of people know as the vintage or grunge style look. Obviously this has like a kind of like a textured feel, there's pieces missing, there's lines missing, there's circles missing, and this creates like an illusion of depth. The second use case is to combine colors and make multiple colors appear as though they're actually there when they're not. This is really common in like older comic books or things like that when you see like a red and a yellow on top of each other in a certain way and it can make the illusion that orange is actually there. Or you can use this to create multiple depth. This is how you can create color gradients and make one color look like it's fading into another. And we have a video about that actually, which go check out. The last one, which is for me the most common, which I've used in my art for a long time, using halftones to augment light to create shadows and highlights. You doing all of this without adding additional colors. But halftones make all of this really great for screen printing because you can do all of these things like shadows, highlights, color gradients, and texture without adding an additional color. And obviously with screen printing, the less colors you use, the faster the job goes, the more time you save, and the more money you save your clients, which are all great things. But this isn't a master class in halftones. This isn't me gonna sit here telling you how to use halftones. The point of today's video is to talk about this brush pack and what I think about it. And as with all reviews that we do, it's our honest opinion, it's what we feel. We're gonna get right into it. And I'm gonna say that this thing is actually really great. I've used Procreate for quite a few years now, and I've had a lot of bad experiences with brush packs. Some of them really deliver and some of them don't. I will say right off rip that this one definitely delivers. I've had a great time using it and it's a lot of fun and it makes my job a lot easier. Sometimes you just need like you need that extra little something to a design, whether it is purely gonna live in a digital space or it is gonna be printed. Halftones can make this whole process a lot smoother, a lot easier, and really elevate your style. So if you're kind of getting stagnant, you need something new, this is a brush pack to check out. So let's grab the iPad and let's look at a few things. So I'm using my iPad Pro 2020. This will work in any version. I'm on the newest version of Procreate. This brush pack I don't think has any limitations as far as Procreate goes. I'm gonna just open up a new document. When you install this brush pack, Golden Press did it right, where you just download it, you open it in Procreate, and it makes a handy dandy folder that just works. So good job, Golden Press. Let's go ahead and get our screen recording going so we can picture and picture this whole thing like real professionals that we are. So we're on a blank document, and you can see here that right inside we have our halftone texture is what it's called, and you see this just kind of array of brushes. There's a lot. It comes with 25 halftone brushes. And what you'll notice is that there's less of the traditional style of halftones. You're not really going to find that here. A lot of these are very stylized and very, I wouldn't say niche, they're just more stylized. A lot of times when a, when a designer makes a brush pack, in my opinion, they're making it in kind of the image of themselves and their type of artwork and what's gonna make their life easier and make art more fun for them and help their workflow. To be honest, the traditional style of halftones 
which is just dots, which the closest thing, they have a, just a very simple one right here, which is number 14. You're not gonna see it too often in today's world, and you're gonna have to do a second addition of either modifying the halftone, adding more texture, adding more things. So at the end of the day, them all of these being stylized already just make you let you skip a few steps. You can take any of these, so like we'll take this one here, and you can just draw, and you see this this scattered shape and you see how like there's like texture in here dots and little blobs and lines and but when you zoom out it creates it has like a pattern to it now what's really great is that let's say you have like a very simple use case would be if a client let's just go to this design here for our trip to Nashville so let's say we just have this design and it's it looks fine it's black it's like it's all filled in but if you wanted to do something extra to this, you want to do something a little bit like special, maybe it's for a client, you've printed their shirt five or six times and they just want something extra. You can take the brush pack and go in and we'll alpha lock it. You can see that as I go over this, it, it maintains the shape and the look of it, but it just adds a texture to this now. What you And then from here, what you can do is you can either just erase or invert it. And now we have a fully half toned design. And that was really easy. This would have, like, to do this yourself, you would have had to use a dot grid and then go in here and start filling in some of this. And this works with any brush that's in here. You can do something that's a little bit more, and same thing, it's going to be on alpha lock, and we're just going to go in here and draw over it. Try this. This is something I was, I was noodling around with. But we can try and add some texture to this and using the halftone. And let's grab something with some more, maybe this one and come in here and draw over top of it, you can see that this is now adding a texture. And this is all halftone. This is this can be screen printed, but, but we can just scale this back now. And now we've just added some really cool texture to this design. It brought a lot of life into this, which was really simple. It already had kind of like some paintbrush strokey textures, but now it has more texture. Let's see if we can find something else that would be cool to mess with. This here is a design I did at some point, I don't remember when, it's pretty old. You can see in here I already have like some half tones already going on. There's some lines and dots and shapes that create shadow. But we can come in here and maybe I want some additional highlight through here and I want it to look a certain way. I can just come in here and use this half tone brush on a new layer and I can come in here and add additional highlights. without having to use an eraser to make these little dots and these things. Now you can see like it adds a little bit more detail, a little bit more depth into whatever I'm doing. And I can do the same thing through here, through the shadow. I can grab this color and I can come in here and I can add some more detail and depth throughout this piece. And what's nice is that I'm not using a new color. I'm using a color that already exists. I can do the same thing by erasing. Um, on a certain layer. If you can use it as an eraser to add highlight, you can use it as a brush to add shadow. They did a really good job of putting together a variety of brushes, so you're not kind of just stuck with one type of thing. I've used halftone brushes in the past, and they're a little too niche, I would say. The brushes end up like being very single use case, and or it'll be the same type of halftone, just in a bunch of different weights. What they did with this one, it looks like, is take the standard halftone model of just straight dots, like what you would consider a normal halftone. Just making a variety of different looks and styles and deals. And this one here, obviously, is a very simple, just straight dots. And it's perfectly and evenly spaced. So for this design specifically, if I wanted to go in here and add some, maybe some more highlights, I could come in here and add a nice halftone overlay to this. And those dots that it's creating are perfectly spaced. Now if you make them the right size, your canvas is the right size, those will come out in a screen. And there's sites online you can look up on how to do that. Another great thing you can do, and I just have a empty canvas here of 4000 by 6000 at 400 dpi. I pretty much never go below 400 dpi. Is I can take this and make this black. I can grab any of these brushes. Let's Let's go with this one. It's got some cool texture. And I could come in here and I can draw over the whole thing, fill in the whole canvas, export this as a TIFF or a PNG, 
and then I could import this and use it in Illustrator. And when you come in here and just kind of start messing around, you'll realize the real value and benefit of what you're doing. Once you kind of start layering half tones together, so we if we add some yellow on this, and then we switch it to red, you'll see that it creates the illusion of that orange I was talking about. This is going to look more orangey than red. So the question is though, it, it's great. It's it's half tones. It's a brush pack from a cool boutique shop doing really cool things. Their designer over there is an amazing artist. Link is that should you buy it? Is it worth the money? As somebody who spent a lot of money on brush packs in the past, this is one that I would not regret buying. I would find a lot of use and value out of it. And if you are a screen printer and you're looking to enhance your designs, you're looking to get more into some things besides just solid colors on top of each other, half tones are great to explore with that. And they also add a little bit of depth if you are doing designs for your clients. With these being really high quality brushes, the detail is really high and it's really consistent, is that as long as you're on a high enough density of a canvas size, they're gonna burn out and come through on an image very easily for screen printing, which at the end of the day is why we're doing this. And these guys wouldn't have made this halftone brush pack without it working in the screen printing field because that's what they do. They're a screen printing shop. So why would they make something that doesn't help screen printers? And if their designer is mostly making shirt designs, it, do it doesn't make sense. So yeah, this is a great brush pack. I really enjoy it. All screen printers should be messing with halftones, especially now. Halftones have become a lot more in style and trend, and we're gonna, not gonna see that go away because it's a way to add depth, it's a way to add texture, it's a way to add like personality to designs in a very traditional way. Again, halftones have been around for years. This is how newspapers are made. So head on over to the Golden Press site. I'll put the link down in the description below. Tell them we sent you and let me know what you think about it. Do you want another video about halftones and how they work and how to actually use them in designs? Because if not, we're probably going to do it anyway. In fact, you already have this brush pack. Have you already made cool stuff with it? If so, tag us. Find us on Instagram. Tag us. Tag Golden Press. Because we'll, we'll see that too. We, we stalk their page. We like them. We think they like us. They sent us a brush pack, so I hope so. So with that, this is over. Like, share, subscribe. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.